finally. We starting to think nobody would show. What have we got? The Third Street Gang and the Diamond Street Gang. Mexican kids with nothing better to do than howl each other. But no bloodshed so far. Shit! Hope you brought plenty of ammunition, sir. <laughs> LAPD, drop your you weapon. see that face he made? Throw out the gun. There's a lot of dudes here, huh? Linked up. God damn it, here come more of them. Huh. How about I take this shotgun? Yeah. The last one should have been a headshot. It was right on his head when I fired. <laughs> we just killed about 40 people right there. Car 11K calling KGPL. I need an ambulance at 1624 West 3rd Street. Code 4. Shots fired and suspects are down. Roger on the ambulance, 11K. All units, be advised. Code 4 on the major 415 on West 3rd Street. Suspects Come on, dude. Now. Plus 15 experience. Christ, man. I'm just trying to get to this mission. I guess we gotta do this one, too. It makes sense. Oh, we're so close to the mission, though. Let's just do the mission. Root beer! Morgan's apartment at 1.50 p.m. Interesting. He lives above the rare bookstore. Let's check the place out. Where he said apartment deuce. What was that? There's a clue around here. Here we go. Frank Morgan. 
Apartment 2. Apartment hat. One through four is this way. No. Help you gentlemen? LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from LA. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. There's no point running, Adrian. Mr. Black, get back here right now. It's over, Stop Adrian. Right there, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here, you could go a long way in this department. Yeah, I'll be having your job in about, I don't know, about another year. <laughs> I missed the clue, huh? I got a five-star rating. Adrian Brack can now look forward to his day in court and beating from the LA press. Two trophies unlocked. You have any plans for Weekend Liberty, Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at 6. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Final inspection before Liberty. Good job, Kelso. going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. The bore is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the bore is immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Two-day field drill. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Damn. I wish I could say I like Michael Phelps, but it seems like he just singled out that one dude in his military career and, like, shit on him, basically. Oh! And he just leaves? Ha 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 ha! 
right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. I want to make homicide. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. He's in the bathtub, and they've taken one of his fingers. How's this guy doing? I don't want to be rude, but I ain't got time for talking. Who's the take the stereo? Bruce Bukowski's holding me up here. Let's go, fatty. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes conviction. I'll convince him to let me go. <laughs> How do you do that? I'll give him something better. All right, here we go. Detectives, it's over so, here. Is it the same dude? Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? No. It's a different guy. Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar. Her name is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old. She left Kansas to follow the Yellow Brick Road. Is that so? We'll take a uh -oh. follow statement later. Right now, Kowski wants to around. give her the good stuff. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this body. Nice hat. Let's see if it's got a anything on it. Looks clean to me. Landed on his face and ended up here. Car must have struck him from behind. On his hand. Let's move his head around again. I wonder who they hired to like play the dead guys. All right, we're gonna facial capture you. Do your best to be dead. I didn't notice a wedding ring. So this dude's not married. So this is going to be a different kind of case. What is this shit? California Fire and Life Insurance. Lester Pattinson. Pattinson has life insurance. Curtis Benson. 16,000. What the fuck? Why does it say what the fuck on there? Did he have a wedding ring? I didn't see it on either finger. No? And this hand definitely doesn't have one. No. Hmm. I know I'm overthinking this. The game hand holds you throughout, so... I don't want to look at his arm again, dude. I want to look at his other side of his jacket. I don't want to look at his arm. It's kind of weird how you keep touching his arm. Come on. What's this? Oh, he's got a dollar. Take the dollar. 
Someone took a picture of me stealing a dollar. Uncool, dude. Uncool. We can notify next of kin. Mail 170, 1910. Alright. That's pretty much all we can find on the body. Yep. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Look at all the blood. He rolled. He got hit and rolled. Helps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. So the driver managed to brake before the impact. Traveled a good 20 feet. Holy shit. <laughs> that means he got rocketed. Alright, so that's all the evidence out here. A steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Let's talk to the chick. She's all yours, Detective. Miss Perry? Yes. I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. All right, let's ask her the question. Tell us what happened. Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. And what about the melanoma on the side of your face? I mean, hold on, hold on. Uh. She's telling the truth. What reason did she have to lie about then that? What I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Mm. Let's go with suspect vehicle. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three. C eight. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. <laughs> trying to find work as an actress and things are pretty difficult. You slime up, ball bitch. We don't have all night. Stab her. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? 
I hope you find that driver and put him away. I certainly got away with the He's not wearing belts. a wedding ring though. But it makes sense she's trying to collect the security or not Let's the security see what the patients have to say. Trying I'll to collect the, the friggin' insurance you deposit. The rest of the road. I'm detective Sup, Phelps homeboy. Of the LAPD. How can I help, detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. <laughs> Dudley. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take loan of Mrs. Patterson home. Okay, so we're going to talk about the hit and run incidents here. What can here. you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Hmm. I'm like looking at this guy. Come on, you're gonna give it away. He's. I don't know if he's lying. I think I doubt his story, though. He's gotta have seen more. Outside. It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mister and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It's pretty ugly. What's your association? You yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Hmm. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? That's it? That's all you're gonna tell me? Uh, I'm gonna doubt his story again. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy. Jenkins? Leroy oh, shit. The owner. Oh, I'm supposed to know this, huh? You know the owner. Ah. Ah. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. <laughs> and Lester was a fan of the love tap. Oh, he was a wife beater. Come on. That's when you know you're a true bro. You're beating women in front of pu in public. All right. <laughs> I know I forgot something because I was standing right next to a newspaper and I didn't pick it up because it was in that cutscene the whole time. Yep. Oh, this fucking guy again. I guess we'll watch. This guy's going to play a huge role at the end of this game, obviously. Courtney, come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It sucks balls. Fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned sanatoriums we can reveal the root of the problem then we have a chance to help them 
And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician. This doctor has the fucking Learn most punchable you. face I've ever seen. I just want to physically hurt him right now. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. Put me on the surface. He just keeps all his patients doped up. Awesome. Holy shit, this guy's the biggest kind of scumbag. Alright. 